All right, we're out for a morning's photography around Oldswater and Aeroforce. So let's see what we can find. Clear can hear me above the roar of the water. Well, good morning, and you find me on the banks of Oldswater this morning. And you may be wondering why I'm here. Well, the plan, the initial plan for today was to go to Aero Force, um, which is a waterfall. And there's, there's two reasons I picked that. The first reason, I wanted to come somewhere relatively gentle. Uh, people who have listed, listened to previous videos may be aware I'm suffering a bit from sciatica at the moment. So I wanted to go so, come to somewhere that's not relatively flat, not too much ups and downs, not too far from where I can park, to not overstrain uh, the back and, and the leg. So that was one reason. And the other reason is I've recently seen some, and I can't remember any videos or stills of Aeroforce and the fact that they've re now reinstated uh, the viewing area at the bottom of the falls, which has been closed for quite a while. And I've kept, the last two times I've come, you haven't been able to get down there to get images of, of the falls from there. So I thought that would be a good idea. But in addition to that, I thought, well, if we get up early and come out for sunrise, although, yeah, sunrise isn't really happening, I could come to, and if I uh, flip the camera around there, you'll see the bank, that's all's water, and there, if we zoom in, is the Duke of Cumberland, not Duke of Cumberland, the Duke of Portland Boathouse, which is an iconic sunrise location. Although, as you can see, there's not going to be much colour. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get some images of that in the morning light, early morning light, and then we're going to head off to Aeroforce. I do have a slight problem, though. If I come across the road, just so... Because it's quite a busy road, this, so I'm trying to keep out the way of traffic. And if we look back there... We can see, there's the, um, let's zoom out again. You can see there's the wall. And normally where we go down is down on just the other side of the wall because it's normally dry. But with all the rain we've had recently, the, the lake is very high at the moment and it's all wet. And I think, I'll double check it, but I've had just a feeling the water's going to be too deep even with new Wellingtons on. So... I'm going to have to do the, take the, any images from the road. And as you can see, the, the wall is literally on the side of the road and there's no way anywhere really to get a tripod up. So what I'm going to have to do is take handheld images. Uh, we'll see how we get on. I'm just going to go somewhere where I can just put the bag down, get my camera out and then come back and we'll get some handheld images of um, the lake and the, the boat house so yeah so we'll get some images we'll get those put up and then we'll be off to Aero Falls so we'll see you a little bit later
Right, as you can now see, we're at the main falls and there is a heck of a lot of water coming down. And yeah, if I show you, the, this is the composition I've chosen initially. I might do some others. But if we see the back of the camera there with the polarizer on the last image I captured was at um, 100 ISO F11 and a quarter of a second and I think that is slow enough with that you get in the um, because the water's coming down so fast you don't need an extra longer exposure so yeah it's um, as I say there's a heck of a lot of water coming down and there is water there going under this little bridge so what we're going to do we're going to have a mooch around here see if there's any other images to be had uh, and then I think we'll maybe go up up these steps here going up to the top no because there are some shot images looking across at the falls maybe do those and then probably what we're going to do is go right up to the top and along the river and see what images we can find along the river there but yeah there's a heck of a lot of water coming down so if this image is any good and if we're taking any others from down here we'll put them up on the video and we'll see you later Right, well we've come up from the lower platform up the steps here and that brings us to a viewpoint looking across, the, uh, I mean if you can see there if I zoom in you can see it's a slightly different angle, slightly down and you can actually see the plunge pool of the main fall and the bridge and some of the rapids or waterfalls the other side of the bridge so I've taken uh, captured an image similar uh, to what you can see on the video there but in portrait mode but if we look at the back of the camera now I have zoomed in and taken a more intimate image capturing more into image with the bridge and you can see the, the falls behind the bridge and then the top half of the main falls coming down and as you can see that's 100 ISO f9 and 0.3 of a second now since I've taken that if we look up it might get too bright the Sun has actually come out it's quite bright now so I don't know whether we'll we'll maybe capture a couple more images here and then we'll go uh, if we look around here the footpath goes let's zoom out I forgot the path goes round and uh, drops down a bit to the bridge and then you can I think you can go up either side up the back um, so that's what we're going to do maybe take one or two more capture one or two more images here and then we'll go to the the bridge that uh, and then up the back and see if there's anything that catches my eye up, up there so yeah whatever of these images is best whether it's both the, the the full waterfall or the more intimate image we'll put up after the video and we'll see you a little bit later
Right, we've come along the footpath uh, on the right hand side of the beck as you go upstream and we've come to these uh, what you maybe call rapids or cascades and um, yeah it's it's it I have actually been here before but I think they do make quite a good image so we've done a slightly wider one and then a more slightly zoomed in so we've just got the um, I don't know what that, but these falls there but there's also this rock here where there's some <coughs> cascades as well so so that's what we've done I think we're just going to work our way slowly up the back see if there's anything else uh, we've got plenty of time at the moment so yeah it's certainly it's turned out to be a nice day I thought we might have some rain but at the moment we've actually got a blue sky so that's quite quite pleasant it's quite a change not to have any rain at the moment so yeah we'll um, pack up if that's if either images are any good we'll put them up on the video and then we'll see you a bit later Right, we'll drop down to the river again. We're on, or oh, the beck, should I say? We're actually on our way back to Air Force. Uh, we got to the bridge, and you'll have seen I, I took an image of the bridge, and hopefully it was quite reasonable. It was handheld, so I'll have put it in just in the normal um, vlogging section because uh, it fitted in there. And now come a bit further back, and we've just got this this little waterfall, cascade, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, it's, um, if we okay. oh, pressing the wrong buttons. So if we, yeah, we're obviously zoomed in already. So, but uh, yeah, that's the composition. But if I show you the back of the camera, and you'll see there I've got the two lines because I was hoping to do it as a square crop so that's showing me where the square, square crop will be and it's F11 
100 ISO and a quarter of a second. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll be quite nice. And this is probably the last, not necessarily the last image I'm going to take, but possibly the last one I'm going to actually video taking. Yeah, there is a lot of water in, in the back. So hopefully that one will come out and we'll put it up on the video and we'll see you a bit later. Right, it's been a good day today, We're on the way back to the van now. Um, just actually thought I'd recorded this once, gone through it and found that I'd forgotten to hit the record button, so here we go again. Um, there is, I believe here, a tea room. Whether it's still open or not, I'm not quite sure, but I thought we'd treat, I'd treat myself to a coffee and cake, or flapjack or something, depending on what they've got. So that's where we're headed now. But it's been a great day. It's good to get, I mean, as I say, it's probably the first time I've been out in about a month, because it's about a month from getting back from, from Sky. So it's good to get out of the legs, the sciaticus. Um, it's, it's causing discomfort more than pain, shall we say, and we're, we're getting by. So that's a good sign that we've been able to wander about for ooh, it's probably uh, four or five hours I don't know I've lost lost track of time <laughs> so no that's that's very good and the weather is far better than I expected I thought we'd be dodging showers it was a little bit like that first thing but since we've been here and it's clouded over again a bit but at one point we did actually have blue sky which was brilliant so yeah, it's been a good day and hopefully, I think I've got some reasonable images, we'll tell better when we get home and look at them on the computer, but um, as I'm saying this, or as you're hearing this, you'll have already seen them, so yeah, so hopefully it's some, some good images and that, and can I remind you, if, if you've enjoyed the video, please um, click the thumbs up is great help to the channel help other people see it if you think that's if it's worthy of that and if you really like what I'm doing why not subscribe again that helps the channel and please I ask people if there's anything you particularly enjoyed or not enjoyed or questions you've got please comment I do answer all comments even if it's just a thank you when it's um, like a well done or great images that sort of thing but I do currently respond to all all comments so not quite sure what we'll be doing for the next video as I say it'd be good to just get some more in the Lake District whether the a bit like today where we've come to a, a known photo location or as we've done in the past getting actually some some walks would be good to get out into the high fells again if the leg will back will stand up to that so yeah hopefully we'll get one of those done but in um, just under two months at the back end of February I'm off to Sky not Sky <laughs> that's where I've just come back from off to Iceland so hopefully I'll try a bit harder to see if I can get a bit more video to, to vlog it more rather than just showing images with a little bit of, of b-roll I do find it difficult when when there's other people there 
so but um, yeah it's been a great day and I'll be glad to get home and have a bit of a rest so anyway we'll stop waffling and we'll see you on the next video